Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I'm gonna do a little adjustment there. Um, good evening, happy Sunday. It's Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in mid-Missouri um, in the United States and I am just making sure that we've got things up and running on Facebook. Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in mid-Missouri. There's a little feedback, sorry about that. So, um, so I, I appreciate you joining me on Sunday night. I am going to do another card tutorial. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. Um, this is a fun fold, and I'm getting outside of the Christmas um, this week just because I've done Christmas all week long. Hey, Mary. Hey, Susan. Thanks for joining me. Um, so I'm doing just a fun fold, um, kind of on a different version. Hey, Rosie. Thanks for joining. And um, this is just an everyday fun card with a great fold that I found this weekend that I've never done before. So I gave it a whirl and I liked it. So I thought I'd share it out there with you guys. This is a diagonal joy fold card. And we're using the Simply Fabulous um, stamp set. So you just flip it up right there. And there we go. Just a lot of bright colors. Um, makes me think of spring, which I am already already counting down the days too. So let's get started. Oh, before I start, start up there, I wanted to let you guys know I am having a, um, a stamp camp the first week in November here in Columbia. And um, we're going to do six different Christmas cards and um, two of each. So it's six um, cards total when you leave um, to get you started on your Christmas cards. And um, if you want some information, shout out to me, send me a message or a call me or send me a text, whatever, a email, however you want to get a hold of me. And I'll give you some more information on that. So let's see here. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do, and I did a little bit of cutting ahead of time, but I didn't do any of the scoring because I wanted to show you guys what, what was going on. So this is a piece of uh, three by eight, and we are going to score this at four. And I'm using my um, paper trimmer that's got the scorer on it. So we're just going to give that a good score right there. That goes on the inside. And then I've got your regular eight and a half by um, five and a half um, sheet of paper. And we are going to score that at four and a quarter. And I'm making sure that I'm using my score line and not my trimmer, my cutter. Okay, so normally what we would do is we would flip this card over and fold it this way. But what we're gonna do is we are going to cut and I am going to line up. Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna line up that score line in my little track and I'm going to line up the bottom left corner and close it carefully and make sure everything is still where it's supposed to be and give it a quick cut. So that gives you a nice diagonal and you can use this for scraps or for another card or anything. And I'm sorry, I've got a new thing and it keeps adjusting. So I apologize for that. I'm going to watch out for that. It keeps getting slipped. Okay, so this is our card base and I have a piece of Calypso Coral and all these dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow and a piece of the Butterfly Kisses DSP. Um, if you've joined me before, you probably have heard me say I really love this DSP. Um, the bright in colors are some of my favorite ever. You can tell I need new glue. I thought I got a new one, but I must not have exchanged it. All right. And we're going to glue that on. Just making sure we've got a nice even corner. So we're using that liquid adhesive so that we've got a little bit of wiggle room. And on this liquid adhesive, it's not going to take a whole lot, just a little bit around the edges. I'm gonna flip that around, make sure I have my butterflies go in the right direction and seal that up. Okay, now I'm gonna fold that over and give it a good burnish. It is the funnest DSP that we have, I think, Mary, I agree. Okay, so this is going to be the outside and I have a piece of Calypso Coral and a, another piece of the DSP. So this is Starry Sky that I'm using 
on the coordinating cardstock on the bottom. Sorry I missed you guys last week. I was at a music festival here in town all weekend long. It did my soul great to be outside all day long and get some sunshine and listen to live music all weekend. I was truly revived when I went back to work on Monday. It was awesome. They do that once a year in the fall. And it's usually in September, but this year they did it in October. I guess they're going to do it in October next year. Saturday night was a scotch on the cold side. I may not have made it to the finale because I was like, oh, too much cold. All right, so that's what the front looks like. So now we're going to set this aside and we'll do some stamping. Okay, so I have a piece of, I think it's two and three quarter by three and three quarter. Yeah, that's what I have for the in outside. And I've got a whole bunch of ink here. Hey, Amy, thanks for joining. Okay, here's a piece of Starry Sky that I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, there's beauty in everything. I'm just gonna line this up with, with my grid paper and stamp that right in the center. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I hopefully don't get ink everywhere. And to match that DSP, I pulled out some Parakeet Party. And we're just gonna do just a few stems down at the bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp one on my envelope since I have that out. Okay, I'll set that out of the way. And now I'm gonna grab my cleanser over here just because I don't have enough stamp pads to use all of the stamps that we're gonna to use today. Okay, so now I've got some Calypso Coral and we're gonna do a couple of the flowers. And what I'm doing is I'm just using all of the colors that are part of that DSP pack. And so some of these are gonna overlap and that's okay. we go. Now let's see here. I feel like I did a little bit at the top. So this is one of those cute stamp sets um, that doesn't have a die or a punch with it. So a lot of times people kind of ignore those sets, but I love just the plain flowers of this. And they're so, every time I look at the stamp set, it just screams um, that it needs bright colors. So I think the ink colors work perfect with it. Do a little bit on the corners and we'll call that good for the outside. Now let's do the inside. We'll bring out Starry Sky again with another piece of two and a quarter by three and a quarter basic white. And we'll put, let's celebrate on the inside. Okay. All right, so once again, I'm stamping that in the starry sky. I'll just line this up on my grid paper. That's always helps me get a nice, even, straight sentiment. The photopolymers do help. Um, but I love to just use that grid paper just to make sure that it's nice and perfect. Okay. We will do a couple of, of the bright flowers in the Calypso Coral down at the bottom. Just kind of alternating, getting some of them off the paper as well as on the paper. And then we'll come back with the same stamp and use a little bit of crushed curry. So we had a new stamp set and bundle set that's available for demos. I got it this week. It is fantastic. 
Um, we have a great joining special this month. So if you're interested in grabbing that set, um, give me a ring. I'll show you how you can get it in your starter kit with the extra money that you're getting. Um, and you will not be disappointed. The DSP is only available while supplies last and it is gorgeous. I made a couple of projects. I've got my card made for Sunday night already and it's next Sunday and I'll be using it. My plan is to make several cards this weekend, next weekend with it, so. All right, we're just doing the center of these flowers. We're alternating since I did the outside and Calypso Coral on the inside in the crushed curry. I'm doing the opposite, I'm doing the center and Calypso Coral and then the outside and crushed curry. So that's all I think we're gonna do for that one. I'm gonna set these inks out of the way. We'll bring in our four by eight that's, or uh, three by eight that's scored at four. I'm going to fold this in half and make sure I get a nice good crease with my bone folder. And we will adhere the outside first. Just creating that, oh, I caught it before I got it down. We need to do the Calypso Coral Mat first. I knew that was too much edge. All right, there we go. And now we will add that to the card base. It's the other thing about the liquid adhesive. I had just enough time to grab that back off. And then I didn't use the mat on the inside. I just have this. So all the dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow. So don't forget to check that out as well as some specials that we have going this month and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, now because this is going on the inside, I'm gonna add some uh, stamp and seal just because I want a little more um, strength for this than the liquid adhesive provides. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to line that up and make sure it's lined up and seal that down good. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna take some Fun Flower Resin Shapes from Stampin' Up. Let's grab my Take Your Pick tool and grab a couple of these. And I'm just gonna add it, add flowers along here just to provide a little bit of coordination and fun. Let's do a couple of big ones up here and maybe one more little one. There we go. All right, so there's our card. Now all we have left to do, since we added the greenery on the front, all we have to do is tape down some DSP and trim that on our basic white envelope. So as I said, all of this is from the Butterfly Kisses collection. All right. Oh, I don't have any paper snips, so I'll have to do the, use these yucky scissors because I don't want to use my ribbon scissors on here. Did you ever get in trouble for as a kid using the wrong scissors? No, I never understood that until I became a crafter but my mom was a quilter and we always got in trouble when we cut with our fabric scissors, cut paper with them. All right, so here's today's card. Thank you so much for popping by. It's my camera shifted again. And there we go. Thanks so much for popping by. I'll see you again next Sunday, seven o'clock um, central. Thanks for joining me and have an amazing week. Yeah, week.